Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Kirill Gorgiev and Sandor Shayem. This is the game from World Blitz Championship that was played in Dubai in 2014. Gorgiev had white pieces and he started d4. Shayem played e6, allowing white to play e4 and then perhaps d5, going for French defense. Gurgiev played c4, c5, inviting now d5. Gurgiev played knight to f3, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, black to move. Knight to f6 is the most popular move in this position. We have queen to c7, a less played move, attacking the pawn on c4, defending a6, defending b5. G3, knight to c6, bishop to b2, bishop to b4, check, blocking, knight to f6, bishop to g2, attacking the knight, defending, black to move, castling, looks like a sensible move, doesn't it? Black played h5, very aggressive intentions, and Gurgiev played h3, intending to meet h4 with g4, b6, intending bishop to b7, knight takes on c6, d takes on c6, and Georgiev castled kingside. Perhaps there is another move that comes to mind is bishop takes on f6, damaging the pawn structure, but Georgiev castled kingside h4, g4 as planned, a5, white to move, g5, knight to h5, and now black knight is no longer defending e4, so knight to e4 as planned, but there is another move that is also good for white, and that is this one attacking the queen and if queen takes bishop bishop takes on c6 check and then bishop takes rook after that perhaps Georgiev even will consider bishop to e5 because things were going as planned for him knight to e4 is good move bishop to e7 he was attacking the bishop Bishop to f3, threatening to remove the defender of g7. e5, bishop takes on h5, bishop takes on h3, attacking the rook, white move. What would you do? I think rook to e1 is the first move that comes to mind. But there is even better move than rook to e1, and that is bishop takes on f7 check, going for the king hunt. King takes bishop, queen to f3, forking the king and the bishop on h3. King to g6, queen takes bishop, white is a piece up. Rook from a to f8, queen to e6, hunting down black king. Very uncomfortable position for black. Bishop takes on e5, attacking the queen queen to b7, white made a move and black resigned. What is the move? What would you do? This is the move. Bishop takes on g7, black resigned. One possible continuation goes like this. Bishop takes on g5, then bishop takes rook on h8, rook takes bishop. White move, there is surely more than one way to win from this position. But this is a very interesting one. Knight to g3 check, sacrificing the knight to open the h file. Pawn takes knight, now king to g2, intending rook to h1. Perhaps check. f3, plugging the hole, but then rook from a to d1. Rook to f8, check. King to h6, this is winning the bishop, king to g7, 
we can stop here or perhaps we'll give checkmate to black king okay then perhaps queen to g5 check king to f7 rook to d6 rook to e8 check king to e7 then rook to d1 taking the control of the open file and intending queen to g7 checkmate and we can stop here black didn't want to reach this position that is why he resigned at move 24 and did you find that king hand move in this position bishop takes an f7 check if you did congratulations and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now